Well, a day of tragedy, not only for France, but for those living here in the Willamette Valley as well. And KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Cross joins us live from Oregon State University, where she spoke with a French instructor to tell us about her reaction. Rhoda? Mm -hmm. Matt, fear, astonishment, sorrow, these are just several ways to describe how many people are feeling about the attack in Paris earlier today. And that includes a French instructor who works here at OSU, even teaching her students here the importance of the freedom of speech. On a normal day, French instructor Armel Dennis sits in her office to catch up on the news. <laughs> and that includes reading Charlie Hebdo. You know, words, caricatures, jokes, they don't kill. They really are part of having a, a true democratic debate uh, about what kind of society we want. Dennis compares the paper to The Daily Show with Jon Stewart or The Colbert Report, but raunchier. Part of them is investigative journalism. Um, so they, they publish real news. On Wednesday, when she heard about the attack at the Charlie Hebdo office in Paris, she was stunned. It's a little bit, for me, it's a little bit like 9-11. Calling the attack unbelievable, as if she's watching a bad movie. Beyond the victims, um, which, that's tragic. Um, it, it, it really is an attack on freedom of expression itself. Ces grands chefs français qui réussissent à l'étranger. The title of this recent version, French Leaders Succeed Abroad, using cartoons and humor to discuss French members joining ISIS. Now, you can't blame an entire population for the acts of a, a few fanatics. Dennis says her biggest fear from the attack, finger pointing. In a context of strong and rising Islamophobia in France, um, a lot of people will jump to conclusions and blame all Muslims. Now right here is a recent copy of a Charlie Hebdo newspaper that was published from France. Now Armel, Dennis and others tell me they hope the newspaper will survive despite today's attack. They hope that the paper will continue running, something that only time will tell. Live in Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.